Greetings, Entities and Guardians, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kukuron Oven Break. So, apparently, in the main story, they decide to release a new quote unquote, okay, quote unquote, new main story. What they did was they re released the event of the Save the Future event, you know, the one that stars String Gummy Cookie, uh, Future, or not Future, but like different timeline. Would it be kind of, I don't know, different timeline for Sonic Cookie, different timeline Timekeeper Cookie, even if it was just a mention. But apparently, you know, I was kind of on the fence of going through this event, only just because, like, well, I mean, I already did videos on Save the Future before, you know, back when the event was in its prime like a year ago. However, I was curious after thinking about it, I was like, you know, how did they implement some of the levels into this? Like, I know there's probably some, like, I forgot, I even forgot how Save the Future worked. I know it was collecting, like, I think it was collecting the time uh, machine things. Time jumpers? Whatever, I'm pretty sure it was whatever that was. But it was collecting those in spe like specific levels. But how did they stretch that out into like, I think it up, up to like 15 levels? That's something I'm kind of curious about. So I'm going to do a few videos on this. And hey, if you already know about the Save the Future story, then you don't even have to worry about these videos. If you're just curious though, and you want to just kind of relive on how we even got Stream Gummy and like all these other clubs in the first place, then let's go ahead and experience how this goes. Because we're immediately going to get some cuts. I'm pretty sure it is 15 levels. If it's not, I have no idea what it is. It might be. I'm pretty sure it should be 15. That's kind of like the main staple. There's only like one time where I think it extends to like, I don't know, 20 levels. Maybe a few times. But like that's super rare. But anyway. Phew. All done. I finally finished the time manipulator. Did you really need that to work that? Did you really need to work that hard? Timekeeper cookie. Long time no see. I have been here since morning. You would have noticed if you looked up from the schematic once in a while. Would you just look at the time? I swear, time really starts. Time really starts flying by whenever I get so focused on something. The cookies who want to test the new prototype should be back soon. Then I'll be able to finish the last few tweaks. Oh, th that's right. You can have one too. It's a time manipulator. I told you about it before. You realize I do not need such a device. Throws, you know, such a device. Those to. Is that gra grammar? Cra you realize I do not need such a device. Those to traverse time at will, right? Traverse time woo, you know? I guess... I guess... You're better than anyone else with time. But since it is an important device, I shall keep it. I'm glad you like it, Director. I'll go meet with the other cookies. There's a loud motorcycle back there. It is almost time. I should put the time manipulator in the office before that cookie comes. Oh, foreshadowing. You're back in one piece. Great work. How was the device? Well, well, I didn't expect much when you gave it to us, but it's better than I expected. The goggles were so uncomfortable, and it was such a hassle to set the coordinates every time. This was my lazy years. That's a relief. I made this since there aren't any very many, you know, there aren't very many employees about to be able to use time rifts. Ugh, it's nice to not have to drive myself. Not being able to train because of repairs is something you know better than anyone though, right? Please keep using it. I'm planning on letting every employee have one each. Well, it's so convenient. Well, I mean, I want to use it at home too. What? You know you're not allowed to use- you're not allowed to manipulate time just like you want, right? Relax, it was just a joke. Thank you for this. Oh, look at how beautiful that thing is. It was a bit hesitant at first, you know, I was, but the prototype seemed to be working fine. Now we can have more cookies keeping the balance of time. I knew it was a good idea to make these time manipulators. What? Why is, why is this rift open? There, there aren't any cookies scheduled to return right now. But- but the- only department employees are able to open time rifts in the clock square. Who in the world could it be? I found you quicker than expected. I don't think we've met before. And how did you travel in time without a time craft? What? Why are you pointing that gun at me? Rasan Cookie, hand over your time manipulator right now. What are you talking about? How do you even know my name? I'm String Gummy Cookie. I'm here to fix the future you ruined. What? I ruined the future? That's right. All because of the time manipulators you created. I'm here in order of the director to destroy them. The director? You're saying that Timekeeper Cookie ordered you? There has to be some kind of misunderstanding. The Timekeeper Cookie watched me create this. No time for chatting. Just hand over the device. I'll take care of the rest. I, I can't. These are for the employees of the department. I already knew. But you're as stubborn as always with what you believe in. Then I'll have to find it myself. S Stop it! Oh. Nice calming music for this. So if I take a gander, it is indeed 15 levels. However, only the first 10 are available, and I guess the last 5 will be available when the update, when Baguette Cookie comes out and we can play as her. So that's going to be fantastic, but 
Man, that cutscene was longer than I thought. How many? How much in the, in the story? I I have them all unlocked technically. Yeah, that is her save the future. Actually, you know, well, I think one part is gonna be for chapter two, and I do have both. I basically have everything accomplished in this, but but we can still wing it with this. You know what I really appreciate about this small jingle about like in the background? It has a little ticking noise. You know. Did, did. Anyway, back to the stage. Uh, is there a specific combi that I need to use? I can use uh, something for the bonus mission. I do need string gummy, which is fantastic. That I actually. Oh wait. No way. Does this just automatically let me select it? Just the use. Oh. And there's also a equip wall button. Maybe that was there before, but oh, that's so refreshing. And also, just in case, I'm gonna put on the bubble shield because you never know when I need it. I'll take it from yogurt cream. I'm sorry, but. We have to get at least three stars at the very, well, I mean, that's the very most that you can get. But you know what? Master mode. Let's do this. We're going to be doing this all in master mode. Let's see how crazy we can make time be chaotic. All right. So I'm not sure how many. Oh, oh yeah. That's fast. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. Pretty quick, but you know what? We were able to get it done. But, okay. Let's see how stressful this can get. Okay. So we're kind of starting off in levels that I guess resemble croissant cookies trial. It's fine. I gotta use up these bullets fast because since this is on master mode, the speed for just the actual, you know, level is gonna be increased. I've talked about this before, I think in Trophy Race, but like the tr like the cookie itself doesn't have their speed increase. It's actually the uh, the entire tr like level. I want to say trial, but we're not running in cookie trials. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep on running in this, and I'm hope these might be even just old levels for all I know, but they must have had at least some sort of like different design levels for how they can make something work. Pretty sure they do at least. Can I, can I shoot one of these mice? No, but I can shoot those down. So that's fantastic. At least I'm getting points for shooting the bullets because that's very important. Which I still love the fact that honestly running through this level, it really does take me back. Just running through this event, it takes me back. How does it take me back? Well, uh, by the way, do I, not, do I not have a combi cookie? I don't have a combi cookie, I just realized. This is actually way more dangerous than I thought. It's one hit and I really do have to restart the level. That means I can't rely on like someone else to help me here kind yeah that oh that that adds on a big more amount of stress that i realize than when i first realized because at least like if i did fall i could have like a backup powerful cookie to really help me out with the level but of course now i don't have that to my accessibility which is major problems but actually now that i think about it how are they going to handle the ending because if you remember uh with operation time guard when it first released you could, like, I think there was, like, two endings that you could choose from. It was for String Gummy Cookie to, like, you know, stay within the department, you know, with Croissant Cookie. And then there was another ending where uh, he decided to go back and meet the Croissant Cookie of his time. So, I don't know what's up with that, how they'll present it. Maybe it's just, like, some choose their path sort of thing. It would have been interesting. You know what they should have done, which I thought would be really cool? They kind of just split the path near the end. So, like, there's, like, level 15-1, but then there's also level 15-2, which... I know it kind of does sound pretty chaotic, but it's it's literally all oh, that sweet loot. It's literally a play. I was gonna say role play. It's literally a story all about like time being destroyed and just like well not being destroyed, but like time being messed up basically. And it's not too easy. Now I have to use Captain Ice. Why? I think I should have the combi already already equipped. Yep, I do. Okay, and also I'll just slap on another bubble on you. I'm pretty sure I have two. Should have one more. I think it's down here. Yes, I do. And that's equipped on long again. Oh, fantastic. And yeah, I can't even have a combi cookie next with me. I just, I just have to do this like, you know, as it is. Kind of scary, but yeah, whatever. I prefer the risk. At least it's kind of like a way for you to go through this game. Getting like a little bit of extra challenge. And also, for the people who haven't even played through the Save the Future event, it gives you basically somewhat of a recap as to who the pleb is string gummy cookie. And... I know, unfortunately, we don't have a way to uh, replay through the uh, Operation Time Guard story, which I know they're going to bring it back in, like, some sort of a... Those numbers look familiar. I think I saw those in one of the levels in the uh, Time Fixers event. But, I don't know. I really hope that th at some point they do kind of bring back a, the, uh, like, a, some sort of a main story where we can see how we even found a Timekeeper and Croissant. But I know for a fact... Dev Sisters is probably not going to do that, and my only reasoning is, it was kind of something that kind of... I don't know how to explain it, but like, it was the old main story, and then everything got changed. Like, big change that happened was that in that story, uh, plubbing Ginger Brave was friends with, uh, you know, Zombie Cookie, uh, Ginger Bright, 
uh, strawberry cookie, and skater cookie. Does anyone remember who Sta skater cookie is? I really hope that you, I I hope that you really do remember him because, man, that's still a big rip. Like I'm so I'm still upset that they got rid of skater cookie. I mean, you could still play a skater cookie, but like, they're not in the lore of the story anymore. They just wiped that clean, just restarted it, which I'm still upset about. Hey, at least we got three stars in the level, which I'm happy about. I just got to make it to the end now. But now the rest of my points focus on getting that loot box, but. Yeah, if they bring back Operation Time Guard for, like, main story, they're gonna have to do some story editing, or somehow, they're gonna have to, like... Get... Actually, no. They can fix this in one simple way. Just, th before any of the main Operation Time Guard cutscenes happen, just start... Just give us a black screen, and just put text on the screen that says, In an alternate timeline. And that's how everything gets stitched together perfectly, nice, and neatly. So that's how you can probably make that come back, which... Eh, probably, you could call it a lazy way, but I feel like that's the only way that they could probably bring that event back, even just in main story style, while not bringing back up any, like, things that has to do with, like, another cookie that wasn't a part of, uh, that w w was a part of it, but not according to their quote-unquote new canon. I guess that's the best way that I can pronounce it. It's the best, the best way that I can describe it. It's their quote-unquote new canon. Like, pre-2020? No, 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 I think it was 2021 when they uh, started showing this uh, new game mode. And is this level the same? I feel like I saw those uh, that pattern of bear jellies before with the big bear jelly in the middle. Oh, but I don't remember that platforming, so I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this is definitely different. Because <laughs> I definitely would remember... Oh, that snowball is going to work on those cogwheels. Oh, good job, snowball. You're really pulling your weight. I mean, also, I do got to bear... Like, I have to bear this dimension. Why? Why Captain Nice? Why not croissant? Like, I can understand level 1 string gummy. That makes sense. You know, TBD. But why not, like, I don't know, croissant cookie? Maybe even timekeeper cookie? You don't even need to throw a timekeeper cookie because, like, you know, it does have some... She does... Or they... Honestly, that's something I still have a problem with. So... Yeah. Oh, shoot! Oops! I was too distracted with my own ramblings. Let me check the time. Oh, well, yeah. I'll hold off again right now. I was just trying to check if it wasn't going on for too long, which technically I don't even need to worry about that anymore. I keep forgetting that I'm using an X recorder and not the, uh, I think it was called V recorder, uh, the last recording software that I used for the phone, which this one, way better. I think, though, unless it's, like, linked to something, I don't know. Oh, I think it's linked to the Play Store, so maybe, uh, I could just download this again, but, like, I feel like I am scared where, uh, if I ever do get a new phone, which eh, it might be coming up soon, because, uh, this phone has been starting to show its wear, basically. That's the best way I can describe it. But, I, if I do to get a new phone, I am kind of afraid that, like, I'm going to have to reinstall it, but I have to kind of buy the full version again, which I think it's not even that expensive, to be honest, because I think it was on a sale, though. So I'm hoping that sale is still available by the time that I get a new phone. I have to itch my nose. This is a very bad time for me to itch my nose. Okay, there we go. I'm fine. Okay, now it will be a good time for the snowball to spawn again. Uh, you know why I fell right here? That's the exact uh, spot where I fell. It's because I thought that little uh, item, the treasure that I had, just transformed it and just made it disappear or made it turn to a jelly. And I was like, oh, I can just walk past that. But no, it was something else. And I guess it came to a speed where just like it phased past the item that uh, it actually transformed to a jelly or just made it disappear. And I got goofed by my own treasure. And it just caused me to fail. So that's loving fantastic. But anyway, how are you all doing? By the time that I'm recording this, actually, I am basically 80% done with a year local club video. Like, I have all the audio recorded, and the only thing I'm adding to it now, before putting it in the final editing process, is that I'm adding something new to the videos that will make it a little bit more interesting, but also a little bit more flashy, I guess. But also, I'm just adding, like, stuff, uh, I had to get used to, uh, I, I should probably explain it just so I can focus on more time just running through the levels, just so I don't make the commentaries bland, just, like, Describing the levels as they are because I've been doing that for a long time. I'm pretty sure with save the future I'm basically just talking about the same old song and dance at least we did get three stars on the plumbing level but Anyway, now this is the part where uh string gummy goes on a genocide rampage uh, Not really, but he steals everyone's uh, time manipulators and uh, yeah, I think shoots him with a gun And by the way, I am truthful about that, but they're not bullets. They're like ropes that like tie you up and there's probably some universe where it actually is bullets so I would laugh. <laughs> oh, it's getting so dark. Man, I'm tired. Just have to repair that cogwheel in the machine room I'm done for today. With this, I could just compare broken parts with their past versions and fix them. These time manipulators are such handy tools. I was only joking when I said that to, uh, to Croissant Cookie, but surely it should be fine for things like this. 
Oh, my favorite jelly shop closed a few moments ago. Oh, what's the worst that could happen if I go back and pick some up? How much could the future possibly change from that? Oh, whoa, 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 what, what's with the gummy stick? That's dangerous. That's one. Who are you? Why are you, why are you tying up my timing inflator with that gummy stick? I'll deal with this. Wait, how could you just destroy it? String gummy cookie, stop it right now. That didn't take very long. That, that, that's the way to the machine room. Whatever you do, do not touch the broken cogwheel. I'll catch that cookie. Sound the alarm and let everyone know that we've got an intruder. Uh oh, back to uh, calm sounding music. I saw you enter the machine room. Where are you hiding? You seem busy. Timekeeper cookie. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Some cookie came from the future to destroy my time manipulators. Has it occurred to you that I already know about this? Y you knew? Then, then why didn't you do anything? Let him run around and break things. That is what String Gummy Cookie has to do, after all. What do you mean? Do you know the cookie that we're dealing with? Uh, I, I heard a noise from over there. That must be where he went. String Gummy Cookie. Is String Gummy... He's next to the broken cogwheel. Don't touch that. If you mess with that, there's no telling what it might happen to the timeline. Oh. What? The, the, the cogwheel is stopping? I have to stop anything that could cause problems in the future. That's why I've come here. Only a TBD mender would be able to handle that. Is that perhaps what you worked with in the future? The director taught me that I should at least learn to handle tasks such as these. So, so Timekeeper Cookie taught you. Now why would someone like myself do something as boring as that? So we meet here too, at last. Why are you staring at Timekeeper Cookie like that? You two really know each other? Perhaps we do, perhaps we do not. If it wasn't for you, this wouldn't have gone this far. You irresponsible. Uh, wh wh where'd he go? Oh, Timekeeper Cookie, we have to catch him. Do your best. <laughs> Timekeeper Cookie disappeared. Ugh, String Gummy Cookie, wait. I just... <laughs> I just, like, that is straight up a Timekeeper moment. Like, oh, Timekeeper, can you help you? Can you, can you... <laughs> I'm sorry, I could not read that with a straight face. Like, could you come over here and, like, help us try and catch this criminal? Good luck. Oh, we got another cutscene, too. Immediately. Not even any chance to run through a level. Hmm. We still have so much to deliver. It seems that we'd be stuck here until that intruder is caught. So it's a relief that I have the time manipulator. I could always stop time to complete these deliveries if things drag out. Who's that entering the director's office? Hey, hey you! I haven't seen you around here. What business do you have with the director? Just who was I... Just... Just who I was looking for. You got a time manipulator from, You have a time manipulator from Croissant Cookie too, didn't you? Give it here. Eh? What, what do you want about? You came from this way, right? Did you happen to see a cookie with a long gummy stick rifle? You know that cookie? What, what is going on? He just came, broke my timing deflator, and barged into the director's office. The, the director's office? But no one can enter there without permission. He had the key. What? But, but I'm the only one who's supposed to have a key. My key is safe in my pocket. Th that means... Timekeeper Cookie, you're watching, right? Y you better come out right now. You rang? Did you open the door for String Gummy Cookie? Come now, do I truly seem like a cookie who is that nice? So there are multiple keys? When did he steal it? Think for a moment. Get those gears in your head rolling. To give you a hint, you hold the only key to that office. So... So the future director gave him... The future director gave that to him? Oh, that's great. Love that music. This isn't much different from the office in the future. It shouldn't take much effort to find the time manipulator. The director said Timekeeper Cookie kept important things in the um, um, innermost drawer. The time travel goggles. See, they were in the same place all this time. But them being here shouldn't mean that the time manipulator is here. String Gummy Cookie! No, you, you've already destroyed the time manipulator! How did you find it so fast? The director told me about its location. What is Timekeeper Cookie in the future thinking? I can't wrap my head around this the more I hear. Well, are you sure it is me that's the director? <sighs> are you sure it's me that's the director? I don't know why my voice died out near the end saying director. Did I not tell you that there is not just one single future? But who could be the director if it's not you? Don't you dare compare the director with Timekeeper Cookie. What? So the director of the future isn't actually Timekeeper Cookie? The director is an outstanding cookie. Someone you can't compare to a cookie who just plays around with time. I didn't intend to tell you. I can't stand listening to any more of your assumptions. This director is not even unable to fix time, and won't come back themselves either. 
What's so outstanding about that? The director should be the one who takes responsibility for the timeline. That's exactly what the director told me, too. It's not like I'm the director or anything. How does the regular engineer like me end up ruining a timeline? It's not your fault in this timeline. Then what's the problem with the time manipulators? They're all for just the employees of the DVD. Of course, that's what you intended them to be for. However, the future doesn't always end up like you want. Even in this very moment, the timeline is getting scrambled. We don't have time to go into details. String on me, Cookie. Wait! That was so much cutscene talking, my throat hurts. I had to take a swig of water after that one because my throat legit did hurt. Alright, well, equip all just in case. Treasure, pet, and cookie assembled. And master mode. Let's do this and hopefully not fail. Like we have literally already in the... What was it? Level... Was it level 2? Or 3? I think it was 3. I'm already f so forgetful about this. Fantastic. I still don't understand, like, why, uh, Ice, or Captain Ice Cookie is the playable cookie here that you need for, like, you know, this is the cookie that you need to run with for, uh, the bonus. Because, and the, oh, by the way, why is my, is my energy intentionally, like, depleting fat? Oh, maybe that's just because of the master mode. I just never noticed the blinking energy thing. But, anyway, like I said, I don't understand. Like, I can kind of understand that, like, you know, I think the main story in general, just like, you know, the Ginger Braves tail main story, it does, like, you know have i think a playable ice captain captain ice cookie that you can get multiple of it so it's e it's a it's a relatively easy cookie to max out but i'm just saying still like we we still have no chance to play as like croissant cookie or even any of the new cookies like you know i know the get cookie isn't available right now but i wouldn't be surprised if it was you know if she could be the co uh, the combi cookie that you play with just to get the bonus points like for the later five levels, the last five that are unlocked. But what about like croissant cookie, like I said, or coffee candy cookie, or like any TBD worker, you know? Like, of course, string gummy cookies there, but like, so far we ran, oh shoot. Okay, that was close. We just got a three star, just don't fall right now. We're, we're already, this, we're this deep already. We'll be fine. And we do have three stars, okay, good. We are out of this level, fantastic. We just need to go through one more level because majority of that last cut was just so much cutscene reading. Oh. And that's done. Three stars and all the loot for us. Free gains. Even though I realize there is a lot of cutscenes in this story. Like, there's a chapter one set of cutscenes, and there's a chapter two set of cutscenes. There's all that loot, and then let's move on immediately to stage five. And, yeah. Oh! Sweet! Coffee candy! Well, that's awesome. Maybe I do need to upgrade the pet more just a little bit, and maybe... Or maybe they're capped? I don't know, but I do also have the Guardian Shield. They're apparently all capped at level 5. And I guess the cookie's capped at level 4. And the pet, I guess, can go up higher. Well, whatever. We'll see what we can do like this. I'm pretty sure we should be A-OK -okay in this run. And I'm glad at least my prayers were answered. We're actually running with another TBD cookie. Thank the Lord. All I'm hoping for now is later on we do run with a croissant cookie. Or, if we're lucky, plebbing timekeeper cookie. But then again, I'm not sure if timekeeper cookie would be a... The necessary like cookie that we play as only just because oh and by the way i think it said that this cookie was pinned meaning that i couldn't even change it if i wanted to like i thought it just meant it was just capped but nope okay well i thought it was just capped at level but i may need to do some upgrading now that i think about it with this cookie because yeesh this uh level four i can i can only go so far with that one you know oh oh, oh nice went down just get some extra jellies I don't know, it might seem possible, maybe if I just get the bonus point, if I do get bonus time again. Yeah, I got it once, may as well try and get it again. Button, button, get the button. There's a button, I missed some rainbow bear jellies, but we should be a-okay. -OK. A -OK. Uh, big deep dive into a bunch of bonuses. Another deep dive into a bunch of bonuses. In fact, I'm pretty sure this guardian shoot is actually giving me a little bit of magnetism. Lots to slide into that bonus. So many bonuses, but where's the time? Like, is this, an, is this a metaphor for the story? Like, oh, I got, I, I got so much bonus. But I ain't got no time. I feel like that is a metaphor. Hey, at least the shield is giving us so many points for, like, these bonus times. We do have a... There we go. We do have a star already. So hopefully we can keep on pumping it out. And uh, we need one more bonus time so we can get up to, what is it, 30 million points? It's a good thing we got that potion. Because without it, I don't think it would have been possible for us to even get a good score. But we just need one more bonus time. And even then, so it actually looks like we could just make it through this. Yeah, three star. All we have to do is just make it through the level and we'll be fine. Uh, there, wait, all my shields gone? All my shields are gone. Okay, this is a problem. Because I used them up in the bonus time. Oh, big problem. Oh, it's like playing Flappy Bird. Oh, don't hit this thing. Oh, okay. I at least got it. Fantastic. 
Uh, I don't have a shield, however, it should be the worst thing in the world. I am just missing out on a lot of points here, but it's fine, because as long as I as long as I make it through the end of the level and I'm still living, that's all I care about. Oh, really, you could just afford to take one hit in that level and you'll be okay. At least on master mode, you know? With the shield. But anyway, whew, that was plumbing close. But now all these are done, and can I end the video, or are we going to end off with one more cutscene? We're going to go off with one more cutscene. Okay, fine, whatever. Where did he go now? No matter where I go, all I met with is cookies who already got their time manipulators stolen. That string gummy cookie is quite the hard-working cookie. So much like you, in a sense. Stop smirking and snap out of it. Even if it is, is it, even if it isn't true for the fruit. <sighs> I'm so stressed out about this. Even if it isn't true for the future where he's from, you're still the director of the TBD here. And that is precisely why I am leaving him be. What? Are you saying you think time manipulators need to be destroyed too? Not at all. I just happen to be- I just happen to have seen the future string gummy cookie came from. You know about all this? Then you can let me know what's going on. No, 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 no. That would only ruin the fun. But I will let you in on a single hint. String gummy cookie is the second most knowledgeable cookie when it comes to your time manipulator. After yourself. Timekeeper cookie, come back! I think we are- don't- I already know the uh, suspense of this, so uh... Oh, we haven't- we haven't even seen this cookie speak yet, because we only saw the first two. I quite enjoy the convenience of these time manipulators. Now, we will have an easier job trying to, you know, just have an easier time finding the right cookies for the job. I just need to check the applicant's futures and then pick the best one. Hmm. If it wasn't for cookies like you, I probably wouldn't have to go around destroying these. Hey, who are you? Why did you take my time manipulator? This should be the last one around here. If only I could insert, like, a bang sound effect. Did you see any cookie carrying a long gummy stick rifle? That cookie snatched my time manipulator. So he's already been here. That means all my prototypes are broken. The string gummy cookie returned to the future? No, no, no. If what Timekeeper Cookie said is true, he probably knows where, uh, where's the vice controlling the time manipulators. I have to go to the Clockwork Square. And yep, here we are. The giant cogwheel. Why isn't he here? I was certain that he'd come to destroy the central clock. Since I'm the only one who can enter it, I was planning on catching that cookie when he tried to break it open. Or maybe he knew I'd be waiting and went somewhere else instead. But where could he have gone then? If it were me, I would have gone to destroy the schematics so that the timing of bleeders could be remade. The maintenance station! Yep, this place, where the timecraft is. So this is the maintenance station I've heard so much about. This is how it looks, huh? No. This isn't the time for sightseeing. The director said the schematic would be right here. Here we go. Now I just need to. String gummy cookie, please, listen to me. Since all the time manipulators are destroyed, you have to wait a moment. What do you want? I know you're trying to change the future. I have spent quite some time trying to fix the messed up timelines, but thanks to the cookie I traveled with, I learned many things. M maybe the reason you're working this hard is to save cookies precious to you, just like Gingerbread is always doing. Maybe I could help. I if you just tell me how the future changed, I could fix the time manipulator to avoid that. It's no use. I can fix my future, but I can't change it. Wait! I did it. It's finally over. My schematic... Gone! I'll just make a new one. I invented it myself so I can redo it, even if it, if it, if it takes time. Then I would have to destroy that one too. I still don't believe the future will end up like you claim. While I didn't expect this to happen, I did prepare for conti <laughs> con yeah, con <laughs> contingencies, I'm sorry. I already know there's a central control system, plus the fact that you're the only one who maintains it too. The director said that you would help us if you listened, when I had finished destroying all the devices. I'm not so sure myself. I refuse to help! Why would the director think that I'd help you? She'd know better than anyone. What's that supposed to mean? The director in the future is you, Croissant Cookie. To be continued in Chapter 2, you mean in the- <laughs> I like how they kind of slap that on just to be continued in Chapter 2, even though you could just immediately go to the next five levels. So this is- so that does explain why there's a bunch of other stories that you can check out here. Maybe the last five levels is going to be unlocking the here and there stuff, I don't know. But that being said- ooh, actually, you get this loot and then I'll end the episode. Free games, thank you very much, a lot of tickets and crystals and a bunch of other loot. But with that being said, 
This is a fun recap story, I gotta admit, but with that, like, with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share this video with your friends who even enjoy my cooker run content, and if you enjoyed my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, if you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future, I also have merchandise, ugh, merchandise if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing to buy anything at all, I also have a Discord down in the description if you want to check that out, it's a fun time down there, and we're trying to expand each and every single day, and last but certainly not least, there's also a link down in the description, again, that leads to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the cooker on YouTube set for absolute free. What about those? I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype news.